Dashboards are ClickUp's reporting engine. Dashboards are a powerful tool that allows you to better visualize, analyze, and track your work in real time. In ClickUp, you'll use customizable widgets to build your dashboards. These dashboard widgets give you valuable insight into tasks, sprints, projects, people, goals and targets, and so much more. Let's jump in and make one together. Hey, thanks, Paul. To get started, click on Dashboards located just below Spaces on your sidebar. From your Dashboards menu, you'll see any dashboards you've created, as well as any that have been shared with you from your team. You can easily favorite a dashboard by clicking the Ellipses menu to the right of the dashboard name and selecting Add to Favorites. Now let's create a new dashboard together. In the ClickUp sidebar, click into Dashboards. When the Dashboard section expands, click the plus sign next to My Dashboards to get started. Name your new dashboard in the menu bar. Next, select Add Widget to begin building out your dashboard. Widgets are the building blocks of dashboards. They are the way to visualize and analyze data from your workspace. Remember, a dashboard is only as good as the data you have in your workspace, so make sure that you have a clear vision for what you'd like to visualize. There's a range of widget sections to choose from, each containing a variety of different options when you create and customize a dashboard. The Featured and Custom Widget sections contain some of the most common widgets used by Teams and ClickUp. Each widget has a brief description of what it does listed underneath the widget name. The widgets you have available to you are based on your ClickUp plan. Here are some of our favorites. Charts and graphs, such as a pie or bar chart, breaking down your tasks by status to quickly visualize bottlenecks. Task List View displays tasks from any location. Text Block to add rich text, images, and even use slash commands. Use this to bring the look and feel of your dashboard to the next level. Chat to add conversations to your dashboard. Sprint Widgets to empower your agile teams. Build a Burndown Report to inform your sprint retrospective and help with future sprint planning or even a calculation providing you the sum or average of a number custom field, like number of block tasks, projected revenue, or even average consumer feedback. As you can see, there are a lot of great options to choose from. The widget you select here will determine how your data is displayed. Let's choose a pie chart. A pie chart is great for understanding the percentage distribution of selected data across your tasks or any numeric field. After you select the widget, a pop-up will appear where you'll see a range of options that allow you to customize it with specific information. From here, you can name the widget, select the specific location in your workspace you'd like to visualize data from in this widget, group the data by information such as status, assignee, or custom fields, pick the data points or value you'd like to display, like tasks, time estimates, or custom fields. Choose whether or not to include subtasks, archive tasks, and closed tasks. If you have added tasks to more than one list, consider enabling the Include Tasks in Multiple Lists toggle. Drill down even further by filtering for specific sets of tasks. Once you configure the information that you want, click Add Widget. Once the widget is added, it'll appear on your dashboard. We call this the Dashboard Grid. Widgets can be quickly moved, reordered, and resized within your dashboard grid here. Click and hold on the top left of any widget to drag and drop it within your dashboard. This will displace widgets from their existing locations. To resize your widgets, simply navigate to the bottom right of any widget in your dashboard. There are also some additional ways to enhance the visualization of the widgets in your dashboard. On widgets with a color display, Navigate to the ellipses menu in the top right of the widget and select Show Legend. This will break down what each color represents on your widget. Other widgets, such as a bar chart or battery chart, can also be sorted to help further customize the display. Navigate to the top right of your widget and click Sort. You can sort alphabetically, by value, or manually by whatever order you like. To guarantee your dashboard is displaying the most updated information in your workspace, you'll want to refresh the data. 
By default, dashboards are refreshed manually. However, you have the option to change this to a scheduled refresh. Click on the Refresh button at the top right of your dashboard. From here, select the Refresh Now button to refresh your data immediately. You can also choose a different refresh interval from every 5 minutes to every 60 minutes. Refresh intervals are set just for you, and this starts when you select it here. Finally, let's turn our attention to our dashboard's sharing and permission settings. When dashboards are created, they are private by default and only visible to the user that created the dashboard. To share a dashboard with your workspace or specific users or teams, select the private icon at the top right of your dashboard. You can add individual users or teams to your dashboard from here by clicking the Invite People search bar. Alternatively, click the Make Public button to make it available publicly to your workspace. Any dashboards that are public to your workspace or shared with you specifically will be listed under the Shared Dashboard section in the ClickUp sidebar. Remember, dashboards will only display data that you have access to see. If items have been made private in your workspace, they'll need to be shared with you so you can see them in your dashboards. Let's check back in with Paul. Congratulations, you've now built your first dashboard and learned how to manage and share it. You're well on your way to saving more time in your day.